Hey folks, I'm back. Um, I had gone out of town for a little while, stopped making videos. I did have a video planned um, that I was going to upload right as I was leaving to give you guys something to to tide you over in the meantime, but ran out of time. It's uploading now, go figure, but you know, whatever. Um, so I think I'm finally going to get something off my project bench here because this thing has been sitting for a while and uh, I don't know. It's kind of breaking my heart to have it in pieces here. So this is my Eon GBA, or that Latios Latios um, special edition that I picked up a while back. Um, I don't quite remember where I left off in the last video and if I even included this, but I do have the original motherboard back in here now. Um, and my biggest problem right now Originally I was having issues with the uh, with the power switch and the volume control, but it seems to be working fine now, so I don't know what the hell's going on with that. And, uh, well, in this case, if it ain't broke, I ain't gonna fix it till it is. Um, but my last issue is this, uh, this battery contact. I tried replacing the spring in here, and the one that I popped in there doesn't fit so I can't actually close this up and I was just going through my parts bin and I found this. This battery contact is not in fantastic shape but it's in better shape than what I have and it has a spring on there that should fit. So I have already cleaned this up, it did have a little bit of corrosion. I would love my pliers, but unfortunately, I don't have them at the moment. I have these, but these are garbage. but they're better than what I was using. Okay. So you gotta unbend these two little tabs. I'm not gonna bother soldering on this whole battery contact, even though I'm pretty sure it's off of a Game Boy Advance. And it should fit fine, but I think this will be easier to just swap over the spring. Like I said, it is in rough shape, but you know, the shell actually closes with it installed. I think we're in a better shape than we were before. Okay. Try and straighten these out. Goes in easier. So the spring that I have in here now is not an OEM part. It's actually off of um, it's off of like a aftermarket replacement one of these guys, and this is OEM too, so this might even work. But the spring on this is bigger, so I figure I'll try the smaller one first, and if that works, then I'll leave it be. Just for uh, comparison there, you can see how much bigger one of those is. That should just drop in there. And you don't even have to bother bending that back. The spring tension will hold it in. And otherwise, that should be it. And hey, look at that. It actually closes now. 
me get a screwdriver. I think by now I'd have an actual game at my desk and not just this test cart. But uh, oops, I forgot about that. I'll leave that there. Everything seems to work. All the buttons are working. I heard sound. See no flickery red light. Nice and smooth, no crackling. So yeah. I have no idea what that was about earlier with the volume and the power switch, but I think, I think it's good to go. I think I can call this thing fully restored, which means now I get to go drive up to Goodwill, sit in my front seat, take a picture of this thing, and say, you'll never believe what I just got, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching.